Hey, welcome back. I've been intending for ages to do a cottage core build because this has been inspired by my daughter, Millie, who would like nothing more than to hang out in a cottage garden with a couple of goats and a long white flowy dress. Now, just as an aside, have you seen the price of Lego goats? Because they only came in like one set in 2011. Look at these prices on Bricklink. Holy cow so or holy goat <laughs> how many wow all right so obviously i can't afford any goats for any cottage core style build that i might do so this is dreams versus reality oh and speaking of dreams versus reality with real estate being the price that it is i don't think my daughter's ever going to be able to afford a house and move out so we're going to concentrate on a room going to dedicate one room to millie this is my version of millie as a, as a mini doll and we're gonna fill it full of plants because her her actual room is filled with plants and of course our cat Willow who views Millie as her absolute best human so just to spite the rest of us so plants and this was also inspired by the fact that I'm still wanting to do a too much plant build where I basically just build with plant pieces but these are going to this is going to be a more ordered build because it's going to it's inspired once again by her room but it's not exactly like her room so going to put together some plants first <laughs> We'll think about the room shall we so this one can be like little cuttings on the window because she's got plenty of them where she's busy propagating cuttings and leaves that fall off her current plants she's very industrious so got let's just make a couple oh actually no you know what we do need we need a mushroom or rather this very romantical stylized version of a mushroom which is actually toxically toadstooly but works really well with the cottage core aesthetic and some more plants just before we get started on the build so if we use this skirt piece so this is a minifigure skirt piece actually uh this andrea's room used this for uh, andrea's room andrea's house used this as a little planter pot too on the coffee table so if we get these couple of plant pieces here we can stick them in there and put some flowers on the top which is not really indoor planty they don't tend to have colorful flowers like that but I need some sort of color to break up all of the green because there's gonna be a lot of green in here so we've got some token plants let's start on her bed so I'm using these uh leftover nail wraps that I have which are basically just stickers as really really nice botanically style botanically <laughs> botanical style bedspread some more just stickers to basically Millie's bed is covered with textures and colors and stuffed toys and pillows and all of the things there I, there's there's not even room for her it's just ridiculous so I'm going to try and emulate that as much as I can here with this bed for this build so I have to think about how I can like put as many pillows at the top as I possibly can so her head her bed her bed has got a bed head Yep, bed head, which uh, you can put books behind, but I'm not going to put books behind this one because it would kind of just make it jut out too much. But we also need the top of it to put plants on as well. So this is kind of the idea of what her bed looks like. Underneath there's a trundle and it's got drawers built into it. So to actually try and build that, I'm not going to build a trundle itself because, yeah, because I'm just not. But I'm going to try and make the drawers so that it just adds some nice texture to the bottom part of the bed. So if I do that, no, I think I, I want them to be kind of tucked under, but they don't have to be too far tucked under. I don't like the double studs on the front, so I'm gonna build it out even further like that. And then if they go like that, that'll look really good, I think. So to put that on, I'm gonna need some of these studs with the uh, forward facing, oh, bricks, gosh, bricks with the forward facing studs on them. Pop them maybe at this, that would work I think maybe if I, I want to tuck them back a little no I can't all right so I'm just going to put them here and that's basically what we need and on the end it's just got a little white baseboard so if we use this then I can just use some of those bricks once again with the outward facing studs and attach this to that and there we go it's not quite as symmetrical as I'd like it to look. No, you know what? I'm look, not looking too far. <laughs> I'm not looking too hard and fast at this. Just going to just concentrate on on looking pretty close to what it yeah what it looks like. So that's cool. Got a nice teenager style bed now on the back here. I just need to cover it in pillows, but they need to be basically secured there because it's Lego. So just some sort of kawaii style squishies. This is probably a squishmallow, one of the many many squishmallows. So this can be here. Yep, I don't know which one it is, but it's there. And <laughs> you can decide. It's a pink one with speckles. And this, 
this one, this roundy pillow has got a very nice Monstera print on it. So I can put it here and if I use the angled piece like the floating minifigure angle piece I can then kind of put it in the corner and then turn it but I need a stud with a hole in it so many thought processes go through here thanks for joining me for all these thought processes hopefully they don't hopefully it's not too boring so I'll put an angle piece under here and then look at that there we go that kind of looks like it's just built up with lots of pillows and there's room behind for me to make yeah, a, a, like a stash of more pillows on this plate with the studs on it. So if I put this here, I can put a little rounded over pinky thing here. And then this, which I've put some stickers on to tie in with the other arrows that we have on her main pillow. And that, I should be able to tuck this behind here. There should be enough room, I think. Should be enough room to just be able to slot this in behind. There we go. So now it's like just pillows for days that <laughs> that that's pretty much I mean if I could fit more pillows on here in Lego style I would but but this will do for now and on the bed head there are plants of course that's the whole point and once again I'm adding some color to them uh, flowers but no you know what we ca I can't really do in Lego is have the variegated style leaves you know like the leaves that have two colors in them because like within the same leaf because I'm working at such a small scale here like at minifigure scale that I just kind of have to stick with the leaves, the leaf colors as they are. I'll just mix it up with different shades. So got a nice tall plant growing up here. And my intention for that plant is actually for it to grow up and vine over the wall. I just love, I, I want a cat. I think Lego next should make a cat that curls up on the bed, like a little curled up version of a cat, right? So let's get this bed on here, window behind it. Now, now I have to be a bit creative. I mean, all of this is creative. So I'm going to have grey masonry brickwork wall, but I want the window to actually be nice and big to let lots of light in for the plants, filtered light. And I just really like the old fashioned kind of style of having, having it a crisscrossed window. So it's got the pane across the middle, but I want it actually recessed back. So if I put these out here like this, we're now hanging off the back of this base plate. So if I put these in front as a frame, then I can put the window bits on the back here that we're not gonna be seeing because this is the outside of the build and then put the windows on it and the mint pieces on the front act as a recessed frame kind of look. I really like that. So I've got a stud sitting on the windowsill there to put our cuttings on in a moment. So let's just see if I can get the top to look the way I want it to be. I don't have a long enough mint brick piece, so we're just gonna have to kind of make them dangle there in the air until we attach them together with some tiles on the top. I mean, that's now secure. And I need a little stud over here. And I'll show you why in a minute. So that looks not quite balanced from the bottom to the top, but I don't care. I like it. So put the bed in front of it. That's very cute. Put her cuttings on the window. So look at that. All right. So this plant that's going up needs to go up and over the top of the window frame like a climber. So going to use these green coral pieces that came in the house at Pooh Corner set. And yeah, if I attach them... You can actually stick two of these together. So if I grab another one, I can slot them into each other and that should make, I mean, it should be convincing enough. If we had enough extra leafy foliage on the top, it won't just look like, it just kind of looks like a nice substantial branchy structure. And if I put some more little, little greeny bits on here, it's probably overkill, but I don't care. Look, it's really, 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 really foliagey. <laughs> That's what you want. Lots and lots of leaves. <laughs> leaves. <laughs> okay. And this will just be the curly end of the vine for now. Okay. So I need, oh, hold on. I wanted that to, I think I need to move the, not the bed back. I need to move the window one stud in the other direction. So let's pull all this off, move it over one more. Yeah, 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 that's where it's supposed to be. So that, that, there we go. That way these will connect up. So let's get some more wall in here. Some of the masonry brick pieces, which are really nice, um, but I've never used them before because it's not really an aesthetic that, that I like, but Millie really likes this. So 
and I think it will make it look really quite homey and nice. Okay, now I want to keep just making this green go up a bit so that it's now going to go up the wall and that kind of looks as though it now ties into the vine that's going along the top of the window. There's a spot here where we can put a light, a plant light, and this blue will also match in nicely with that blue pillow on her bed. I mean, we're going to end up with quite a bit of colour in here because simply because her bed's covered in colour, we can match these up with little feature pieces around the around the room as well. So it's not just going to be a suffade of green. Okay, more brickwork over here, but I want to put a mirror on it. And I've seen these like really cottage cool mirrors with the uh, with like autumnal kind of foliage going around them. So I can't really do the viney kind of look. I tried, but this was the best I could do. So I'm gonna use blue and purple, like flowers and, and leaves just to mix it up a little bit, just to break up all that green. So to get this on the wall, we're gonna use one of these pieces with the two by two forward facing studs. And if I put this on, I can attach both. Look at that. So now I just have to get it at the right height so it's gonna fit in next to the bed. Probably gonna be too tall for a mini doll to look into, but I'm just gonna ignore that. It's here for the aesthetic alone. It's my day and my word of the day, aesthetic. And let's put a hinge here for future purposes because we are going to expand upon this. So let's get this at the right height. So let's put in. We'll mix up our masonry bricks with some nice smooth ones. If I had, if I was planning this out better, I'd have these walls all interconnected so that they're not just straight up columns of two by one bricks, but uh, we'll secure it at the top. So let's see, I think I need to move these up. Yeah, okay, so I need to attach the wreath on the bottom bits of the studs and the mirror on the top bit. That, that way now we're at a very nice height. Okay, so like I said, let's secure these just this bit of wall now with a nice smooth gray tile and this is basically going to be our wall height but the window height is going to be bigger it's just a diorama facade kind of thing so another plant let's put a silver base on it and I'm just trying to mix up all the different kind of pots and textures that we can have this one's tucked in right next to her bed just want a curled up kitty to put on that bed so much <laughs> especially as Willow spends a lot of time curled up all right over here uh, a desk and more plants. <laughs> what else? Is there any room for a bookcase in here? I don't know. Now, Millie has a feature wall of dusky rose. Like the, the color on it is dusky rose and we've got no color like that in Lego at all. So we go on with a nice hot magenta pink as her feature wall behind her desk, which I think goes really nicely. It's not quite as subtle and subdued <laughs> as the, her actual wall though. So desk time. Definitely important to have a desk for study purposes and for crafting and building Lego because that's also important. So nice tan desk, got some studs on the side to attach some stuff. Four legs well, for the actual four legs, we're going to use holy studs. So studs with holes in them and just stick some sticks in them. Goodness me, all these words that mean the same thing, though different things in this belt the same way. So this is her desk. And then, I mean, at the moment, that's not going to attach the floor, but I'll worry about that in a moment. There's a nice, easy fix for that. So putting some more plants yet again on her desktop, but she still needs to have room for a laptop so that she can do some actual schoolwork, that would be handy, instead of just fussing with all these plants. And there's our bookcases and shelves above the desk, so we'll build them into the wall. So let's get this into the corner just by popping in just another one of those holy studs there on the ground. We only need one. I mean, you could, for symmetry, you could put one under each leg, but you don't need to. I just like how they sit on top of the studs like this now with just one holding it in place. Now I would just want the shelving to be maybe just one plate higher. Yeah. And of course the shelves have to be wide enough to hold more plants. So we're just going to make sure we have enough shelving here. Uh, I like this triangly piece to go on the top shelf because that just makes it look a little bit less bulky. I keep knocking off my vine. All right, more plants, let's do this. So up here, I need to pull that out a bit, otherwise that won't go on the stud. Going to put this nice sandy green plant and a stack of books. We're gonna have to just put books everywhere, I think, because I don't know whether I'm gonna have room for a dedicated bookcase. So putting this plant over here and this stack of books, stack of books here. Just angling them so they look really cute from the front angle. And then on the next shelf up, more plants. 
that by putting them up this high, you run the risk of forgetting about them or not watering them as often. So maybe this is a good place for mushrooms to grow and uh, for a uh, <clears throat> neglected plant that's now just poor <laughs> sticks. It's just sticks. But we do also have a nice lush plant still prospering beautifully up here. Obviously, this is the perfect light for whatever this plant is. Let's make it a bit, bit unique by making a star up on here so we can actually hold one of the flower pieces that have a pin on the bottom and this white flower piece only came in two sets like with Moana because it was the the flower that she puts in her hair so that's really nice okay this space behind the desk I have a plan for it let's backfill it with uh with some wool but I am going to need some inward facing studs uh, uh, in this in this instance they're inward facing they're going to be facing into the room so now we've got some wool and on that yeah on that Let's do a wall mounted tree fern, though I don't know that this is going to be like any tree fern that actually exists in nature. I mean, this part would be okay, but now I want to add some of these green grape pieces just as a different texture because we just got so samey with all the leaf textures. And if you actually poke the grapes, hold on, I have to do this in separate. If you poke them gently in between the two grape bits, <laughs> they hold ish like it's not a proper connection but they will hold enough that if you don't bump it too hard they make a really cool effect so look at that i mean they're holding enough <laughs> for now until i bump them speaking of bumping them let's make a really precarious desk chair as well because the reason well you'll find out why this is precarious so i want to make this as minimalist as possible but so that it still looks like a you know a, a turny desk chair what do you call those things I don't know a desk chair it's a desk chair but the bit that makes it precarious is the fact that I need to figure out where I need to put this for the back I just keep knocking it off it's not the most substantial of builds <laughs> and I want to angle that back like it's tipped back the uh, the backrest bit so it's kind of only holding on half with the claw piece but it looks so good like that it doesn't have to be like properly connected it's just kind of ish connected that's cool. I'm cool with ish connections. So now we've got our desk chair, got a very, very precariously balanced plan on the wall. Let's head over to this space here because we must leave no space unturned. And here's a good spot for a little bookcase. I mean, Millie has got a floor to ceiling bookcase, but for the purposes of this build, I think that might be too bulky. So we're going to have a little, little floor bookcase and we're going to make some books that are just going to kind of slot into it. So if we put them on this, I don't know what the blue piece is called with part tile and part studs on them. But if we put all of these attached onto that, then we can fit them into... No, that worked before when I tried it before. It's because I've got it around the wrong way. So they have to attach down where the studs are. Now that'll fit nicely. And that's really actually very snug. And it's not going to fall out. Look, look at that. It's not going to fall out unless you jiggle that quite a lot. All right. On the desktop there, or sorry, on the bookcase top, Millie's favorite Lego set of all time, Pride of Place, is the Everyone is Awesome set. So this is my tiny micro form version of the everyone is awesome set look those rainbows are so perfect ah uh, good all right we're gonna be able to fit that with a wall on the back aren't we i think so okay speaking of wall let's build it up and <laughs> we need to think about putting more plants now on this wall how are we going to do that so maybe another viney kind of one i don't know where it's actually going to be coming from like where the pot for my vine plant here is <laughs> it's just a bit of suspended vine plant so green ice cream cone upside down with a bit of tendril coming out of the bottom and then we can put an upside down leaf bit on the top and then we need a motivational poster, which is 100% true. Good things really do take time. So there's a perfect spot here for, oh, for a poster on the wall. And another bit of green on the wall top. And I reckon, and I don't think I can fit anything else in this part of the build. We do have two hinge pieces, though, to be able to expand on this and to be able to, well, We'll find out. So, uh, you know you love it when I do this so much. So this is Millie's plant bedroom so far. We've still got more plants that need to fit in here. So we're going to make space for them. And we're going to put in more plants. So many more plants. And I will get that part of the build ready for you very soon. So <laughs> chuck me a comment. Let me know what you think of the build so far. And yeah, I'll be back for the rest of this really soon. So don't shout me too loudly. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.